Do you know a good joke? <laughs> Today is National Tell a Joke Day, so let's talk about the things that make us laugh. Joining us are three local comedians who know a thing or two about making people crack up. Comedian Mike Bonner. Hello, Mike. Did you get a haircut or did your ears shrink? Good Lord, you look handsome. <laughs> comedian Melanie Hearn and comedian and magician Jason Magic. Thank you all for being here. Hey. hey. All right, well, so let's start with Melanie, because she's the funniest out of all three of you. Uh, Melanie, what is, what is it goes into a... a <laughs> to to, he was like, oh, my God, he did not. Uh, yes, what, goes into, what goes into a good joke? For me, a good joke is, is my life. So a good joke is being transparent, um, telling the truth, and being relatable. So to me, that, that's what goes into telling a good joke. Uh, my favorite joke of yours uh, has to do with, uh, what did you say about at Kohl's? I think it was Kohl's, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Kohl's Cash. Yeah, that was uh, working at Kohl's, you know. Kohl's Cash is it right there. So that's one of my good ones that you like. All right, Byron, let's go on to you. What goes into a joke? I think you have to have a great, great content and a couple of snappy comebacks, a couple of callbacks. So you can bring the joke back up to, be, to, to reinvent the joke a few times during the joke. Yet a, a great joke is definitely content and something real about your life. All right, and that would include your coat, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jason Magic, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Yeah, same here, man. So listen, for me, it's almost like the exact opposite because I have to tell like a really bad joke to make the magic trick look that much better. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Set the bar I got a lot of them. Jokes. <laughs> How do you write material, Mike Bonner? You know, it's easy, man, but I, I, I gotta commend Jason. Doing magic is hard. I saw a magician one night do it. He was so bad, the audience made him disappear. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well played. That's a magician. All right. What's that, uh, Jason? Yeah, uh, let's go on to Melanie. Melanie, how do you write material? Do you have like a yellow legal pad like Seinfeld does? Or, or what do you do? On your phone? Notes? I don't know. I, I do notes on my phone. And then um, I see something. I always take a note, a little video note or something on my phone. Because comedy is everywhere, every day. So I always have something where I can either voice record or I put it on my, um, you know, on my notes or something like that. And then I take it to the stage and see what happens. And then we just kind of keep working it from there. Do you uh, practice? Do you rehearse? I remember before I was a failed stand-up comedian with emphasis on the word failed, I used to pace back and forth in my living room and try to get the cadence of whatever I'd written right. Do you do that? Um, absolutely. I go to open mic at least three or four times a week. Um, that's our gym. That's how we work out. That's how we get better at what we do. We got to actually get in front of a live audience and and bomb and be terrible and let people tell you it's not working. It's funny in your head, but it's not funny on stage. <laughs> Let's go to Jason Magic. Uh, let's ask you this question. Are dad jokes funny or bad? You were talking about your so own jokes So you got to get in front bad. of a live audience and, and get it out and the yeah. audience will tell you whether you need to take it back. Keep going. Yes. I think Come it on. depends on the dad. For example, why does Snoop Dogg, who is a dad, why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? I don't know why. Faux drizzle. <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on, nobody. <laughs> That's for Brandon. That was dedicated to Brandon. Bonner, there is no way that you're going to top that joke, but go ahead and try. With that joke, listen, I was downtown. It was so humid. I was walking downtown. I hear a guy behind me cursing and swearing. He's using more profanity than a Dave Chappelle concert. This guy is talking about how hot it is, how he wants to move. I turned around to see who it was. It was my shadow. <laughs> was your shadow well wearing played. a loud sport coat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's good to see you, as always. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I can't wait to hang out with you. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Great. All Bye, right. guys. Talk to you.